What a surprise to see you here, Anna. You two know each other? Without Dirk's help, I wouldn't have solved half my cases. He's taught me a lot. She flatters me, but there are many analysts like me in the world. Anna's intuition and ambition are one of a kind. The Vanessa Fiedler murder. Yes, let's dive in, shall we? There were fingerprints on the scene. They matched the victim herself and Vilma Zoma. There was another print on her typewriter, but it was damaged, so we can only guess who the print belongs to. As for the message on the ground, it was written in a mix of green oil paint and blood. There were also signs of sexual assault. Then it's likely the crime was committed by a man. Anything else? Evidence suggests she was strangled to death. Then stabbed with a knife half an hour later. Stabbed half an hour later? Why? Why? I have no idea. Why is your department, isn't it? Perhaps he needed blood to write his message. How revolting. Dirk, may I have a look at the damaged fingerprint? If Judith doesn't mind. I'll sign off, Dirk. Let her look. The fingerprint lab is right over there, Anna. your fingerprint files, there's a strong chance Iris Kniff is a match. Agreed, but it won't be admissible as evidence since we can't guarantee a perfect match. At least it gives us a lead. Iris said she knew Vanessa, but implied they weren't close. If Iris was in Vanessa's home, perhaps they were closer than she let on. What's Iris hiding? Should we go to the gallery and ask her? Not yet. I'll ask Ely to trail her first. That all you know best, Lieutenant. I told you. Call me Judith. Right. Judith it is. Lieutenant, bloodshed at the hospital. What happened? A nurse called. Said a doctor was killed. She was in shock. Wouldn't say anything else over the phone. We have to hurry. Join us, Anna. Certainly. Which hospital? Hart Krankenhaus. In the suburbs. I'm on my way. Oscar, secure the perimeter. Uli, with me. Yes, ma'am. Here, this way. <gasps> oh, my word! That's Vilma Zummer, Vanessa's mate. I questioned her about the murder earlier today. Vanessa's maid? I wonder if their murders are connected. Don't jump to conclusions. This must be Dr. Raymond Kranz. Stabbed multiple times, no other visible wounds. Sparks could have started a fire, destroyed evidence. Sorry, Lieutenant. Sorry. Go and question the nurses. If 
find out everything they sought to note. Yes, ma'am. I haven't seen you speak so brusquely before. This isn't kindergarten, Anna. Look around. Uli needs to toughen up, act more like Oscar. Anyway, back to work. The scalpel is the likely murder weapon. It's covered in blood. If the murderer found their weapon in the hospital, perhaps it was a spontaneous decision to kill Dr. Kranz. Hmm, looks like it. Grabbed the first sharp object they saw. Do you mind if I give the doctor's corpse a closer look? Go right ahead. What a ghastly way to go. The stab wounds look frantic. Chaotic, if you will. Less of a murder, more of a rampage. Precisely. What do you make of the Science Universe journals fixed to the wall? Covered in blood. Very strange. Maybe the killer hates doctors. Or Science Universe. Then why not destroy the journals? This looks almost like... Decoration? Yes, exactly. Let's continue. What's he holding in his fist? It's a little hard to tell, since it's soaked in blood. I'd better clean it first. The blood is dry and crusty. I'll need a wet sponge to clean it properly. I found a wet gauze. This should do the trick. Search for clues. Great! I found the poem, The Joy. The Joy. Death is our only son. We leave both mother and child. Slaughter is our final joy. What's that filth you're reading? It's a poem the doctor was holding. Very similar in style to the poem from yesterday. This is strong evidence the murders are connected. Give it here. Don't rush to judgment. Maybe there's a link. Feels circumstantial, though, not conclusive. Is it possible Vilma may have killed Dr. Kranz? It's possible. Maybe she killed him, and then hanged herself. But what's the motive? Hmm. Interesting how the desk lamp is pointed at the crime scene. It's almost like a spotlight. Combined with the poem, it reminds me of an art installation. Chilling one. Search Dr. Kranz's belongings. See if there's a link. Between the victims? Excellent idea. I uncovered something important. What is it? Vilma Zoma's treatment course. Dr. Kranz was her doctor, and... Oh, how horrible. What? 
Show me those medical files. She was pregnant. Dreadful, isn't it? And that's not the whole story. Keep reading. Hmm. She had pneumonia. She'd already lost her child due to the pneumonia. More precisely, due to the pneumonia medications prescribed by her doctor. A revenge killing. Not the work of our mad artist. I don't know. Something seems off. You told me earlier Vilma was a maid, right? Yes. Why? Have you noticed her expensive new dress? How could a maid possibly afford that? Hmm. Maybe the dress was a gift, or she saved up for it. She saved for a nice dress with all those baby expenses coming up. Unlikely. Especially if Vilma was planning to raise the baby herself. Is she married? I look into it. Uli, over here. I want a file on Vilma Zama. She was pregnant. We need the father's name. Yes, ma'am. Well, I think that's enough excitement for one night. We make a good team, you and I. I couldn't agree more, Hudit. I'll keep you posted. Get home safe. Today will be another busy day, no doubt. Anna Myers speaking. Morning. I have an assignment for you. There was an incident at the Cabaret Russo last night. An altercation of some sort. Go there, gather a few quotes, and write it up. I'll head over right away. My investigation of Vanessa's murder has stalled anyway. This is your top priority. I want an article on my desk by the end of the day. This must have been one serious fight. Looks like it's all over now. Perhaps I might find something here for my article. I found a purse. Someone lost their purse. This is Iris's purse. I hope she's doing all right. Miss Myers, why are you here? Miss Kniff, I'm glad you're okay. My editor asked me to cover the incident here. What happened exactly? Yet another clash between the surrealists and socialist realism. That's all. Not to worry. Those artists are harmless. I believe I found your purse in the mess. Thank you. I came back to look for it. Would you mind if I took a few photos for my article? 
Please do. All publicity is good publicity. Good. And now one more from the street. That photo was terrific. Myers, I... Please keep your voice down, okay? Please? Why are you hiding there? I'm on duty. The lieutenant sent me to tail Iris Kniff. How's it going so far? Have you noticed anything suspicious? Nothing at all. She spends all day working at the gallery and the cabaret. I see. Well, I'll let you get on with it. I have to write an article. Good luck with your espionage. Okay, time to focus and write my article. My draft is good to go. Now to attach a photo from the cabaret. Which one do I prefer? I like it. I'll take this over to Sven. <clears throat> Anna, I told you to knock before coming in. Here are your papers, sir. Thank you, darling. You can go now. You have my article, Anna? Let me read it. How peculiar. The art world is completely foreign to me. The way these artists behave is truly mystifying. The article is satisfactory. See you tomorrow, Anna. Oscar, what happened? Was there another murder? If you're here to comment on the brawl at Russo, it's a bit late for that. My article is already on its way to the printers. There was a brawl? No, no, this has nothing to do with the cabaret. I'm just here to inquire about an ad that ran in yesterday's oil run tigers. Matt said to wait here. You might be waiting a while, I'm afraid. Matt works slowly, especially when it's a matter he deems low priority. Anyway, best of luck. I hope you're a patient man. Luckily, I'm very patient. Hold on, Miss Myers. I almost forgot to ask. The lieutenant wanted to know when you're free to. Thank you, Oscar. I was already on my way to her office. Give me a moment. You can wait in my office. Make yourself at home. Have a drink. Hopefully I won't be waiting too long. I don't see anything resembling a proper drink. A pitch 
furniture with no glass. This office is a mess. How does Judith get any work done? I found an empty glass. It's a good thing I didn't want coffee. I'd be searching forever and a day. Meeting after meeting, it never ends. Bad news. We're closing the hospital case. Oh, but why? It's so soon. What if the case is connected to Vanessa's murder? It's out of my hands. My superior is convinced it's a revenge killing. Furious mother kills doctor, commits suicide. End of story. He's also afraid. Two gory unsolved murders in two days. The press and public reaction. Would be pandemonium. I see his point of view. I also had to order Uli to stop trailing Iris. Didn't lead to much anyway. Iris is focused on her new exhibition. Nothing suspicious. What about Dirk? Has he uncovered anything? No report yet. Let's go to the lab and check. Dirk, any progress on the hospital case? Not much at the moment. The doctor's body was covered in cuts. Not a single stroke hit a vital organ. He died of blood loss. Shallow wounds like these, I often find they're inflicted by women. What about Vilma? Likely a suicide. Of course, you never know. In theory, she could have been strangled, then suspended from the ceiling. But there were no bruises on her body to indicate a struggle. What about the journals on the wall? The fingerprints on them belong to Vilma and Dr. Kranz. May I see the journals? Yes, on the cart to your left. Medical research in the clinic and laboratory. Genetics and embryology. The challenge of the future in medical education. Did Dr. Krantz have any more journals? Possibly. Why do you ask? Science Universe covers more than medicine, but these three issues all focus on medicine. Why would an enraged, vengeful mother mutilate three issues on the same topic? He was a doctor. Maybe he only kept the medical issues. Can we check the hospital and see? Definitely. Let's go. You won't have any problems with your superiors. I can buy us a day or two. Maybe we'll uncover new evidence. Do you see the journals around here anywhere? Not yet. Search every corner.
I found the journals. I found them. Great. Put them in this box for forensics. It looks like your theory wasn't correct. Dr. Krantz only collected issues relating to medicine. You know, I've got an idea. What is it? Hospitals have appointment books. Let's see who visited Dr. Krantz that day. What if the killer had an appointment in the hospital's records? That's quite possible, especially if it was a spontaneous killing. Let's speak to the nurse at reception. She's away, but there's the visitor's book. Crack it open. Are you sure that's above board? I'll take any heat. Don't worry. In that case, allow me. I found the visitor's book. Here it is, the patient list. Dr. Krantz had four visitors that day. Any familiar names? No. Well, none besides Vilma Zoma, the victim. Rotten luck. I'll order one of my constables to interview the other visitors anyway. <laughs> What's happening here? The murder investigation. We need a list of Dr. Kranz's visitors yesterday. Give me the book, please. I'll write down the names. Sorry to intrude. Here's your book back. No need to apologize. Do you have any suspects? I can't reveal that. Official police business. Anna, I'll call you with any news. Excellent. I'll be anxiously awaiting your call. Morning, Anna. My office. Please. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I need a progress report on your investigation of Vanessa's murder. It's been three days. Her case has become complicated. If I don't see results very soon, consider this special assignment terminated. Wait, no! It's far too early to... I want an article about Vanessa's case with photos from the crime scene today. You know that's impossible. The police have strict rules about crime scene photography. Ask your new associate, the lady lieutenant. She trusts you, doesn't she? Find a way to snap a few photographs. Evening deadline. I wonder if you did would let me bend the rules a bit. I'll see what I can do, Sven. One way or another, I want those photographs at 7 p.m. Dismissed. Good morning, Hilda. I've been thinking, what if we went on one of my daily news assignments together? You can shadow me and learn in the field. What do you say? I'd love nothing more, but we are short-staffed right now. So Sven wants me to pitch in around the office. Speaking of which, 
What's Sven's preferred smoke? I beg your pardon? His smoke. Hoyo? Punch? Maybe El Rey. You know? His cigars? Oh, cigars. Honestly, I have no idea. I think it's El Rey. I promised Sven I'd get him a box. I hope I don't embarrass myself. A bit of unsolicited advice? If you want to get ahead around here, you need to take charge. Being nice and playing by the rules will keep you at your desk instead of out in the field. I'd better go. Good luck with Sven today. Anna, welcome. No updates on the journals yet. Actually, that's not what I'm here to discuss. Did something happen? My boss wants me to write an article about Vanessa's murder. He wants me to take photos at the crime scene. No. End of discussion. No crime scene photos in private residences. Those are the rules. Nothing. Personal? Understood. Here, have a look at this. You need to read this. You need to read this. You need to read this. Great! I found the poem, The Paranoid. The Paranoid? Before my madness and garish delusion, I'll press your words, and you'll melt my schizophrenic fragmentation. That poem went right over my head. Was it found at another murder site? No new murders. This was printed in your paper, the ad section. Some loser poet looking for a publisher. I'll ask Sven who placed this ad. I doubt our killer gave away their identity to buy a newspaper ad, but we have to check. Who knows? It may give us new leads. Any news on Dr. Kranz's patients? Not much. Uli interviewed the hospital patients. Let's get him in here. One second. Uli! You called, Lieutenant? Tell us about Dr. Kranz's patients. Yes, ma'am. Dr. Kranz, okay. I questioned every patient who saw the doctor that day. Unfortunately, they all have alibis. None were in the hospital when the murder took place. There have been large crowds in the hospital over the last few days. The pneumonia epidemic is to blame. So the killer may have snuck into the crowd and out of the hospital unnoticed. You did a good job, Uli. Thank you. One more thing, Lieutenant. I don't know if this is connected to the case, okay? Spit it out and we'll decide. One of Dr. Kranz's patients was Iris Kniff. But her last visit was a month ago, so I wasn't sure if that detail was important. Thank you. You can go. Uli is a very smart constable. Yes, but too unsure of himself. What do you think about Iris and Dr. Krantz? Dr. Krantz was a well-known specialist. It could be just a coincidence. I'll ask her about it the next time I see her. So, back to my earlier request. How about if I just took one photo? No, no, no. Absolutely not. Take photos of her apartment building. I don't care. Don't ask me again. Of course. Sorry to bother you. You're doing your job. It was out of line for me to ask. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. I have a deadline this afternoon.
What should I do now? I need that photo for the article. Maybe there's a key to Vanessa's apartment in forensics. I should talk to Dirk. Hello, Dirk. How's the lab today? Did you work on the fingerprints from the box of journals? Nice to see you. I'm very busy right now. Nothing new to report on the journals. Would you like some help? I would appreciate that, actually. Give it a shot. There we go. This one belongs to Dr. Kronz. Same for all of them, right? Forensics. One moment. Anna, I need to deliver some research on another case. Don't worry about me. Deliver your research. Back in a few minutes. This is my chance to find Vanessa's apartment key. I found Vanessa's apartment key. My apologies. It took longer than I expected. That's fine. Unfortunately, I haven't found any new fingerprints. Well, I should get going. I have a deadline coming up. Oh, of course. Thanks for your help. Think, Anna. Think. Surely there's something I missed last time I was here.
Wait, I found a university photo. Iris, Ruben and Vanessa. They look like friends all together in this photo. I wonder what happened to their friendship. I should take a few photos. Now to take one more photo from the outside, just in case. Got it. Now I can go back and write the article. Okay, time to focus and write my article. The draft of the article is finished. I hope the photos turned out well. The crime scene photo will make the article a hit with readers. But Judith will be furious with me if we print it. This is tough. Which one should I choose? All right, I made my decision. Now to bring Sven the article. Where's my article, Anna? Good. Wait, is that all? I mean, it's an intriguing start. But why do we have so little to go on after four days? Who are the suspects? What's the motive? Are you making progress or spinning your wheels? I'm trying not to jump to conclusions. False accusations can destroy someone's life and get us sued for libel. I get your point, but we need to move things along. Time is money, and the paper can't afford to waste either. I understand. One more thing. I wanted to ask about this strange advertisement that ran recently. Do you recognize it? Of course. I oversee all aspects of the paper. Do you know who bought the advertisement? Can you give me their contact information? We received a letter with money inside, asking us to post the ad. The buyer was anonymous. It happens more often than you'd imagine. Why do you ask? There's a connection between the poem and the Dada murders. I've got two more just like it. Really? We'll put that in your next article. <laughs> Once again, we're at the center of the mystery. Absolutely not. That's what the killer wants. I won't give them the satisfaction. Let's discuss it later. Keep me posted. What should I do with this photo of Iris and Vanessa? I can't show it to you, did. She'll ask where I got it from. I should ask Iris or Ruben about the photo myself. No one's here. I'll check Iris's office. Iris isn't around either. I might as well look around a little.
I found Vanessa's letter. A letter from Vanessa? So they did know each other. This cinches it. Oh my! Vanessa was furious with Iris. Your exhibition will be an object of ridicule after my review in Oritagas. Security guards? Good evening. Is there anybody still in the building? No. Miss Kniff and Monsieur Lefebvre have already left, and I have the key to the back door. You can close the gallery. Good night. Good night, ma'am. This is very bad. I'll be in enormous trouble if someone catches me here. How do I sneak out unnoticed? was too close. Anna, what a surprise. You did. I was just... Sorry about this morning. I was too harsh with you. If I let you take crime scene photos... They'd be held to pay? My superior would have my head. No need to apologize. I shouldn't have asked in the first place. Glad we've cleared the air. With men... It's a shouting match, always. Nice that we talk this out. So, what brings you here tonight? I'm picking up Ruben on my way home from work. The gallery is empty. I wanted to speak to Edith, but my luck was also I wait for a meet home. See you soon. Good night. I almost got caught twice today. I need to catch my breath. I wish I hadn't had to lie to Judith last night. Liar! And after I asked you to forgive me. Judith, calm down. Tell me what happened. You lied to my face. My superiors will have my head on a pike for this. Let me guess, it's not your fault, right? Your mean editor insisted you take those shots. Your hands were tied. You have to believe me, you did. Lieutenant. How did you get into Vanessa's apartment? You stole the key, didn't you? Anna, I'm so disappointed. Like you, I have a demanding boss. Yes, he did insist. But I convinced him to only run exterior photos of the building. I don't know what happened. You shouldn't have taken those crime scene pictures at all. I might lose everything, Anna. Everything. Give me back the key. Now.
Give me the key to Vanessa's. Now. I thought we were friends, but you were just using me. I was such a fool. What happened? I need to talk to Sven this instant. Sven, where did you get that photo? No morning pleasantries. I like that. To which photograph are you referring? Don't play games, Sven. The photo for my article. Yesterday I gave you a different photo. I was looking for you and found the chalk outline photo lying on your desk. So I replaced the boring exterior photograph with the more intriguing one. And you didn't even ask me first? I'm your superior, Anna. I don't owe you an explanation. But I do owe our subscribers a riveting read. You two-faced snob! He's the editor in cheat! The editor in what? What? Oh, Hilda. Sorry, I... It's Sven. I swear, he would sell his own mother for ten new readers. Did he say something to upset you? As always. Anna! You ruined my special assignment, Sven. You did history as a source. There was a fire in an apartment near the Kniff Gallery. I need an article about it by the end of the day. Not even an I'm sorry. You're a piece of work, Sven Lunger. Perhaps, but even so, you have an article to write. If you want to solve mysteries, be a detective. We have a newspaper to run. Hilda, could you step into my office? I need a word. Sorry, Anna. Good luck with the fire story. Looks like the fire has died down. Thank goodness. I should take a look around. I found a family photo. What a big family. I hope everyone is okay. If I write a sympathetic article, maybe readers will offer them assistance. I'll take a few photos, then head back to the office. One more for safety. Hello, Ruben. Anna, good morning. I assume the fire brought you here? Yes, that's correct. Unfortunately, I was unable to have a word with the victims. Have you seen them? No, but from what I heard, they managed to get out in time. Well, that's reassuring. Ruben, while you're here, may I ask you about something? Oh, no, 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 no. You did constantly regaling me with the stories of your betrayal. But I... I know. Sometimes she likes to exaggerate. But Anna, I cannot intrude on her affairs. Doing so would 
betray our trust and make this much worse. Fair enough. There's no excuse for what I did. I have a lot to apologize for. I want to give her a meaningful gift to properly apologize. May I ask, does she have any interests outside of work? She does, yes. It may sound a bit childish, but... Uh... Please, go on. She uh, collects model cars. She goes nuts for them. That is all you will get out of me, Miss Reporter. Thank you, Ruben. I must return to the gallery. Iris is no doubt looking for me. Then I won't keep you. See you soon. Well, time to head back to the office. Okay, time to focus and write my article. The draft is polished and ready. Now to attach a photo of the family. As for the photo of the fire, which should I choose? Hmm. Time to deliver it to Sven. Yeah, no time for small talk, just give me your article. I see. I see. You didn't get a quote from anyone in the family? They were already gone by the time I arrived. You need to get to the scene faster or your reporting will suffer. Are you maintaining that automobile of yours properly? Yes, my car hasn't thrown in the towel just yet. I'll pick up the pace from now on. See th I just feel awful about what happened with you, did? I need to make amends. Perhaps a gift would smooth things over. Hmm. Where's my model car? The one I got on my investigation in Italy. I hope I didn't throw it away. <laughs> 